Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's have some fun before Mare Nostrum comes out. So we're going to play a short campaign as the Ottoman, the Ottomans, because uh, we're going to do Jean Mayen. So what this is, is uh, there's a console command you can enter in. Obviously we can't do this on Iron Man mode because you can't have access to the console. We're also going to be playing with um, a mod that I created called Smarter AI that is going to hopefully make the AI... Well, it does. It does. It makes the AI smarter. Like, they build better buildings, they have a better army composition, they don't spend as much money on advisors and go bankrupt and stuff. Like, they're just, they're just better. Um, the only real change that's kind of controversial is that I nerfed the maintenance cost of forts so that they're not so prohibitively expensive that the best strategy is to delete all of them. Um, but also the AI has to pay for them again. So, there's a couple changes there. So we're going to play as the Ottomans because I don't have a lot of time before Mare Nostrum comes out, but I do want to have some fun with this. So we're going to pick a strong country to start with, relatively strong. I'd say the Ottomans are one of the better positions at the start of the game, plus they start off with some really cool ideas. Um, we love the discipline, and very early on you get that Millet's core creation cost, minus 33%, super, super good. And we're going to go straight from the beginning, we're going to say the bear has landed. Bear has landed. Bear landed. I gotta look up the command. Crap. Okay. Bear has landed. Bear has landed. I thought I did that. Bear has landed. There! Bear has landed in Naga. Okay, let's uh, we're gonna console command a little bit here just so we can have an idea where that is. I don't know where that is. Uh, we'll turn off Terra Incognita for a moment. And then we will find Naga. Okay, so the bear has landed in India. Bear has landed. No, that's not it. Naga. The bear has landed here. There's John Mayan. All right, so we're over here. But don't worry, they're going to be over here really, really soon. Because <laughs> it's the bear, right? So just to, to give you an idea of what the bear gives gives them. They are a uh, client state that has 50% increased discipline, 100% increased manpower recovery speed, 600 tax income, 100 land force limit, 100 naval force limit, 100,000 manpower. Minus 75% core creation cost, minus 10 years of unrest, and minus 50% land attrition. So, yeah. Um, we're going to try to kill that and uh, expand toward it as quickly as we can. I don't know exactly how much we'll be able to get done between now and then, but uh, let's play standard-ish until it's time to go kill them. They are pretty far away. I mean, I would have probably preferred if they were in Europe, but uh, we'll go with it. We'll, we'll see how we do. So, City of World's Desire is definitely probably the best first mission for us. We have no truce with them um, at the start of the game, as far as I know. Got to remember how to play this game. Constantinople's where we want to be. We have some conversions that we're allowed to do. We have decisions that we can take. Adopt the dev dev shroom system. Um, this is definitely the type of thing that you want to do, but I usually wait until after Tech Four. Uh, we definitely want to get the yearly prestige, and I think we do want to take the national unrest. And other than that, want to get some advisors. Go with the level one, we'll go with the level one, and we'll go with the level one. Discipline would be nice, but uh, I think we'll go with the land force limit guy. Probably going to want to merc up a little bit in the beginning here. Who are we allowed to rival? We can actually rival Byzantium. Well, by all means. That's kind of silly, don't you think? Um, we're also going to see, can we rival any of these guys who have our cores? I doubt it, but maybe. So we've got Karaman. First off, a lot of times you can get Kara if they're not hostile, to help you out against the Mamluks, which makes things really, really easy in the beginning. Um, but it looks like no. We could try to improve relations with them. As long as they don't rival us, they might not stay hostile. Let's improve. Um, that is our attitude toward them. So yeah, let's say that we're friendly. Let's go ahead and immediately rival the Mamluks so that we can potentially become friends with Kara. We want to use Kara's army against the Mamluks. So we're going to rival the Mamluks. And other than that, we want to expand east, I think. Genoa, Austria, Aragon, Hungary, Lithuania, Poland. Let's go ahead and rival Lithuania, because there's a pretty good chance that he is going to stop being valid rival. Um, so it's like a we'll have the relationship without having to like sink it into something. If that makes any sense. And before we lose this valid rivalry status, I think we just immediately declare here, don't we? Oh, we gotta wait till <laughs> right. Gotta wait now. Forgot about that. Um, okay, in that case, let's go ahead and embargo him. And we will embargo Mamluks. Let's make sure that our merchants are doing what they should be doing. We have a merchant in Alexandria who is steering toward us. Yes, that's good. And we have a merchant in Aleppo who is steering toward us. Both things are good. 
Sounds good. All right. It's a decent start. Uh, we're focused on military to start with. That's fine. I like that. And we have land that we can convert. 41 months. Not so sure we really want to do that just yet. Let's hold off for now. And then the very last thing I want to take a look at before we get started is autonomy. Uh, we're going to have some issues with rebellion, but we want to, I think, lower autonomy in a few of these provinces over here. Kind of depends on if they're actually controlled by estates. This has changed since the last time I played the Ottomans. They now have uh, estates, right? So, Dimi Estate. 50% loyalty right in the center. They expect to control no land. Okay, and they have 13%. Dimi is basically like the religious group, I think. Merchant Guilds, of course, is going to be merchant. They expect no land. The Bays, the nobility, expect 10%, and they have 15%. And the Ulema, I think they're actually also church-related. I don't know. Let's see, what can we interact with? How can we uh, interact with these guys? Dimi are, okay, new religious tax. Lighten Dimi tax burden. Every province controlled by the Dimi will gain 15% autonomy. Wow. Free leaders without upkeep. Very strange. We can recruit a traitor. And I'm assuming the others are all basically the same as they always are. So... What are we doing on generals? We start off with a good general. A 3-3-3 three, three, three is pretty much the best you can really expect this early in the game. It would be nice if we could get some military power. Just need to get them a little bit more influence. Alright, let's go ahead. We'll call a diet. We'll sack some prestige. Then we'll demand some military support. We will... Grant Monopoly Charters, and then demand di diplomatic support as well. Actually, you know what? The Dimi... Hold on, am I, am I looking at the right one? No, it was the Merchant Guilds. They have 29%. We need to get them to 50% to actually be able to demand even more points. Now, in this case, I think we just take their money. Sack some other stuff. It's still not enough to get their influence high. I'd rather not really go that low. Okay, so I feel pretty good about what we've done so far. Let's go ahead and revoke territory if we're able. So we're allowed to revoke some land from the Dimi. Um, that would be good. Epirus. So there's probably a new color, isn't there? There's like a red and now there's a pink. And never mind, we can't revoke anything for a whole year. I always forget that you can't revoke right at the start of the game. Oh wait, that, that, that was these guys. Yeah, they're actually this color. So red and pink is the same thing. Gotcha, okay. Well, eventually, we're going to want to take that land. Last thing. I know, I'm, I'm taking a long time here to get started, and we're probably years away from being able to fight the, uh, those guys. We might end up turning off Terra Incognita just so we can watch them. You know what? That's a great idea. Let's do that. Let's just leave Terra Incognita off. It's a short, fun campaign, so why not, right? Okay, this province has 24% autonomy, and it does have no estate. So we could lower autonomy here to get some value out of it. I think that that's fine. We're willing to take the unrest. Let's just use the autonomy map mode. Most of the provinces are assigned to estates. 13% is not worth considering. 25% with the bays. 25, 16% over here. Um, I mean, that would come down pretty quick. I'm gonna go ahead and lower it though. I think the unrest is acceptable. Okay, and then other than that, we're gonna wait a month. We'll go ahead and get things going. I do apologize, that actually took me a little bit longer than I expected. Please don't invalidate my rivalry already. Let's issue this embargo as well. We have a truce with them. Okay, well we can't embargo them for now. So we've got our two embargoes in place. We're going to want to immediately declare on, like, Albania, basically everyone. We have 11 force limit available. And we've got pretty good manpower, but we also have excellent income at the start of the game. So we need to play aggressively and quickly. So let's go ahead and just start mercing up right away. Uh, we'll go with, like, six mercs to start with. And then the rest will train up as a couple cav. Let's get uh, four more cav.
And we are waiting until December the 11th that we can declare war on Byzantium. We'll immediately go for that. We're going to immediately go for um, Albania. Consolidate all of our cores. We'll immediately start on this war. If we can surround him very easily. A couple more cav over here would be great. We only have the one leader, but we only have to do a couple battles at a time. Let's actually be prepared to take out Athens. I just want to get these sieges started right away. We only have room for one leader, um, but he does have siege value. Our current guy is really good, so we don't want to make him into a general. And I've already missed the, the war deck by like two, two weeks. Okay, yep, definitely take this. We do have naval superiority. Um, we're going to want to blockade Constantinople for sure. I think we do want to build some more ships. We'll just go with galleys. And uh, let's see, have the John Mayan already declared war? John Mayan, John Mayan. There they are. They're not at war yet. Out of curiosity, let's go look in the ledger. Yeah, they have 75,000 troops. Uh, a million... No, no, that's not true. They have... Yeah, no, they have a million manpower. 101 force limit. Yep. So that's good. They're off to a good start. Meanwhile, we're the Ottomans, so... We'll see what we can do. Obviously, if we started right next to him, we'd just die right away. So we can't do that. Okay, we only need to leave behind 12 troops here. Let's leave behind the... Mm, the infantry. I guess we'll leave behind a little bit extra just to get it started. Let's actually do it this way. We want to take the leader over and do that other fight. How did I unpause the game there? Okay, we'll get this leader put over here. We want to immediately declare another war here, it's already been a month. We will deploy a few regular infantry for that siege here. Take the cannon for the uh, right that that guy. Let's take two more infantry to Kia. The army comes out on the eighth. That will be there before that. John Mine just declared war. Okay, so we have enough infantry to match the front line of Albania. Albania has no allies still. He's still trying to obtain them, but he's too weak to actually get them. Uh, let's go ahead and shift consolidate. We're going to take... We have no more Merc infantry. We could hire one more, but... I think we're ready to just declare this war. Our piety is going to go through the roof. Once it's all the way up there... That'll be when we declare. Or uh, when we start converting things. So even though he's in the mountains and he's got a 555 general, we have... Two sets of cav flanking on either side. So we should be able to win this regardless. But if he rolls really well, this can be a very painful fight. But we're, mo we're using mostly Merc infantry. So even if we do lose some troops, it's not a big deal. And yeah, we did not stack wipe it. He is going to Castoria. So we'll do that. And we will depart, detach just enough to get that siege started. Okay, and we need a few extra troops down here. This is going to require nine troops. We want to immediately come over this way. So you'll notice again that uh, with this smarter AI mod, fully fully fort maintenance on forts is only 0.37 ducats here. It's not exactly a quarter um, because I also kind of tweaked the fort bonuses a little bit. Basically, with the Smarter AI mod, level 1 forts provide 3 bonus, level 2 forts provide 4 bonus, level 3 forts provide 4 bonus, and level 4 forts provide 5 bonus. Or no, it's uh, it's 3, 4, 5, 6 is what it does. 3, 4, 5, 6, instead of 2, 4, 6, 8. And the idea behind that is that the late game, the sieges take too long in the late game, which is completely backwards. Like, sieges should be faster, the better technology gets, not long, not slower. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a weird campaign, right? Because we're not playing with... A lot of the same stuff as normal. There's the personal union over 
Lithuania that we expected to see. It means that our rivalry should go away at the end of this month. I guess we can go ahead and start sieging with these guys. Main thing is we just gotta get these sieges started. It is a lot of cav. There we go. Okay, we will pull off another thousand troops from there. Oh, not quite. Let's pull off the larger of the two. Try to avoid a little bit of attrition. We got a blockade going on Constantinople. We're at 30, 30, we're at our force limit already. Some of these conversions are looking pretty quick. Unrest is completely acceptable, no conversion issues. Let's go ahead and get started on one then. So yeah, forts are a little bit cheaper than they used to be. We have four forts and it costs us 1.5 ducats. Uh, how is John Mine doing? I'm assuming that they've already won. They haven't even sieged anything. Nope, they've sieged a couple provinces. <laughs> They're gonna get so big so fast. Uh, this is just a fun campaign. I need to remind you frequently. So relax if, if you think that, uh, I don't know, we should be doing something differently. I just want to have a good time, okay? We'll detach. I'm not too worried about his navy. It's mostly transports. And that does get this province blockaded as well. Can we actually... Yes, we can. Let's, uh, let's just take the five ships out there. Get Albania blockaded. We don't need this many men here. Um, we could pull one more infantry off. We could pull these guys off. As these guys recover, we can pull him off. This leaves us with almost enough that we can consider a, a, a third... Uh, words, a third war. You have no allies yet. Uh, we have no truce with Kandar. We should declare this war, like, right away. But we need at least probably, like, eight troops over here. So I think what we'll do is just kind of take the penalty on income. And we're gonna go over the force limit by a little bit. So I want to get things started right away. We need to get this leader off. Templar temporarily abandon the siege. Fully blockaded on all three provinces. Good stuff. This is flat terrain. There's no river crossing from this direction. So if we can throw eight troops at, the, at Kandar... Before he gets any other allies. A lot of times these guys try to ally each other. Which is really quite annoying. Okay, we're at six. Three mercs. I just saw something. But it wasn't an alliance. Okay, let's go ahead and declare this war right now. It looks like we might get a crossing penalty, actually. We have three maneuver. Is there a river? From both. Well, we're already locked. Should do just fine. It's only a level 1 fort. He has no forts, actually, so that's great. We could just leave behind three Merc infantry. And pull out of there. Now, Karaman, you do start off with a truce. Dolkadir has no allies. Wish we could do the same thing here. How much is it costing us? We're losing a little bit of money now. We could definitely uh, benefit from ending this war. One of these wars. We did have a disease outbreak over here, but... Not much you can really do about that. It is what it is. Diplo points? Don't really care about that. Moldavia has now been designated as a vassal instead of a, a march. Athens is free. Good stuff. Okay, do we want the Merc... The Cav to be brought over? Or just these, these infantry? We'll bring the infantry over. Alright. Cool. Well, we're off to a decent start. I mean, it is uh, the Ottomans, right? So you're very strong in the beginning of the game. We want to attack everyone before they get any alliances, if at all possible. Like Ramazan, we want to attack him. Need more men over here. 
In fact, you know what? Even more important than getting these sieges started, I think, is to just get these wars started. So we'll just block them from training more troops and get started on this here. That'll give us enough to start with him. Right, okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. Uh, we'll pay close attention every episode to what's going on with John Mayan. Uh, John Mayan has they have minus 75% coring cost, so they core stuff very, very, very quickly. Um, they're going to get big quickly, and they can't have any allies, so they attack everyone. Alright, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.